My mic's going in and out a little bit. I wonder why. I think it's just because it's not turned up enough. There we go. I, I have a lot of stuff on there. Let me move my mic closer to my face. Ooh, that didn't work. Team preview's up. I can't think about it anymore. <laughs> Alright. Um, ooh, okay. So, it looks like we're facing Gothitelle, Milotic, Tyranitar, Cinderace, Togekiss, Arcanine. I'm kind of concerned about Trick Room. However, the... The, uh, it? the Terrakian lead is really good here. Yeah, the Terrakian lead's really nice. I think it's in my best interest to lead off, like, Terrakian Rotom. That covers a lot of my bases. Um, In the back? The back, though. I think Scarf and is looking really nice. Do I want to bring this Amoongus? They're likely safeguarding the Arcanine, so Spore is going to be really hard to get off. I think I'll have more luck with uh, Thievul here. We'll try it out for the first game. This is the uh, Midwest VGC Isle of Armor tournament. It's just a, it's an unofficial tournament, but it has like 30, it has 45 competitors, I think. We're just doing it for fun. A little bit larger than a, than like the average local. Cinderace Gothitel, okay. That's not bad. Actually, it's kind of bad. It's, it's kind of bad. Um, I don't want to take a fighting move. I can't go for taunt right now. I mean, Max Knuckle wouldn't KO me. I think. Let me try this. I'll go for the Protect. I'll get in my Ndidi. Oh, I can't switch out. Jesus. <laughs> Screw it. Nasty plot. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's see if that works out somehow. Alright, they're in a Dynamax that um, I completely forgot about. Shadow Tag because I'm bad and I'm tired. They're probably... Okay, G-Max Fireball. That's scary. They're obviously Libero, so I'm assuming they're going to max Knuckle, max Airstream or something. Helping Hand. That's yeah, max Knuckle. Max Steel Spike, okay. That isn't too bad. I can Dynamax my my Rotom and feel pretty good about that. In fact, here, um, since Terrakion's going down, I'll actually go for a Taunt onto that Gothitelle. Just go for the Dynamax right now. That didn't take any damage on Rotom. This will do a lot, too. Alright, I'll go for a Taunt here, assuming they might want to target into the Rotom slot. And I'll go for a Max Geyser. Because it'll set up the rain and puts me in a pretty decent position. Also, they haven't maxed Airstream yet, so I can get in Indeedee and do a lot of damage. They might have, like, no protect on this team. Or on this, uh, Cinderace. Max Knuckle. It's me going into the Rotom slot, which is actually really good for me. I take it really well. I take it really, really well. Go for the taunt here. Make sure they can't trick room on me. They'd have to switch if they want to do it. And this is going to be doing chunks. I also risk I also resist all other or all of their other possible stab moves, which is really nice for me. Here I'm willing just to close combat into Cinderace and Max Guard. Minimize the damage I take. 
Because I'm assuming Gothitelle is just going to, like, Psychic. Probably very unthreatened. The Arcanine. I max Guard off. They max Knuckle. Get that KO. And I get to keep my Terrakion, which is amazing. I still have one turn to do whatever I want with this uh, plus two Rotom. I'm assuming the last Pokemon's going to be Tyranitar. But, um, Got to Tell does not take this hit. I don't want him trick rooming on me either. So I'll just go for a, uh, just double into the Gothitelle slot, actually. I can Rock Slide, too. We'll Rock Slide, and we'll go for the Mac Geyser. I don't think Gothitelle takes this hit. And if he snarls, he gives me plus one on my Terrakion. So I'm kind of hoping he does. Hey, we get plus one on the Terrakion. I think we win now. Or I guess we're neutral because of the Intimidate, but that's still good. It's still really good. We, uh, we can close combat the Terrakion, or the, the Tyranitar in the back now. Critical hit, I don't know if that mattered. I am plus one in the rain, so essentially plus two Max Geyser. It probably did matter, but I don't think in the end it mattered too much. Okay, there's the Tyranitar. So, um, I'll actually just protect my Terrakion here, and kind of need Rotom to win. Or, I kind of need Terrakion to win, which is upsetting. Let me protect here. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump into the Arcanine, hopefully KOing it. If not, I can get an Ndidi the next turn. Watch it be like Scarf Tyranitar and complete mess me up. I'd be real upset about that. I don't want to give it a weakness policy or anything, and I'm pretty certain that's the item they're running. Just the protect. Alright, next turn I can close combat into that thing to win. Because there's no way Arcanine takes expanding force. Hopefully I don't miss here so I don't have to deal with more RNG. <laughs> so Rotom was definitely a great play, or a great call for this matchup. Plus one Hydro Pump, you don't take that. Beautiful. Alright, so close combat KOs now, and that's game. That's game. Oh, okay. Close combat, Thunderbolt. Beautiful. You round one. We take round one, which is really nice. Makes my nose ring a bit. <laughs> That's the one thing about nose rings I don't like. I always get really cheapo ones, so they end up like sliding a little bit. With the same rules. Alright, um... Let me think about this. I don't want to call them on a different lead. Like a completely different lead. And I almost want to go... What my heart's been telling me this whole time. Indeedy Thievil. It feels really solid. Bring the Terrakion in the back. And Rotom is amazing in this matchup, but I kind of want to bring Amoongus. I kind of want to bring Amoongus. I'll bring Rotom. I'll bring Rotom just to play it safe. Because I know that these four Pokemon were good in the last matchup. And Rotom is really nice for his team. Cinderace Gothitelle. Beautiful.
I can get really big damage off on that uh, on that Cinderace right now by going for Fake Tears and Expanding Force. I don't know. I think it's Life Orb. I think it revealed Life Orb, but I don't know if he's able to take this at plus two. I don't feel like calcing it. I don't care. I'm going to play it fast and loose because that's how I tend to do the best. Go for the Fake Tears. Cinderace. I'm Choice Scarf, so I'll outspeed. As they Dynamax again, it's actually really nice because I'll be able to knock them out next turn with like a foul play. And then Terrakion goes in. Terrakion just goes in. Like 100% in. I have never seen a Pokemon go more in than Terrakion in a couple of seconds here. Hopefully they don't max guard. I'll be real upset if they max guard. <laughs> I'll be real upset, actually. The Helping Hand. Hopefully it's into Ndidi. I'd rather it be Ndidi than anything else. Let me get this KO, though. Not quite a KO, but enough where Foul Play will pick it up. Ibero. Alright, beautiful. The plus one defense is a little bit scary, but after that Life Orb, I should be able to KO. So here's what I'll do. I'll get in the Terrakion and go for my Taunt on the Gothitelle. Because I think they're just going to Trick Room here. If they Psychic, that's going to be real annoying. Because it might knock me out. <laughs> it might knock me out. Is this some misplay? I think I call them on their Psychic. And I go for my Protect. And then I go for uh, Foul Play to KO. I'm going to outspeed the Cinderace and KO it here. And the next turn I can uh, Dynamax beat up my uh, Terrakion for a KO. As long as they don't Trick Room here, I'm fine. They Helping Hand. We're good. We're good. I had to play it real safe there. I think I just win now. Boy, it's time. We're gonna do the move. We're gonna do the funny move. Where's the Togekiss? I don't like that, actually. I don't think I like that, because now I can't beat up. In fact, I might not beat up at all. I might just Rockfall, Togekiss, and Snarl. Rockfall definitely KOs the Togekiss from this range. I'll just beat up Ace. Actually, it's better to Snarl. It's better to Snarl because they're likely Trick Rooming here. I still have a Moongus in the back, which is decent, I guess, for the matchup. I have to wait for Psychic Terrain to go away for it to be effective, though. But I think Snarl into, Rock, into Max Rockfall should do it. And all I really have to get rid of is the Terrakion in the back. As they follow me. Get my Snarl off. Alright, that's fine. As long as I hit it, that's what matters. Is the DLC worth it? I think it is. I think the DLC is pretty worth it. Oh wait, no, I don't have a movie to back. I have Rotom, which is still fine. That's actually better, technically. And I boosted my special defense there. So my play here is going to be to max guard on my Terrakion and go for another Snarl into this, um, into this Gothitelle. Hopefully it doesn't have superpower. That'd be real annoying. 
Helping against superpower might KO. As long as I have my special defense, though, I'm good. There's the helping hand. Maybe a rock slide? I'm hoping it's superpower and he just, you know. Because he won't knock me out with superpower from that range. Yeah. Another snarl just to play it safe. And I think from that range I can take a superpower. I'm real scared about it, but at the very least, I still wrote him in the back and got the towel, revealed its item, so. Let me knuckle here. And I'll snarl again. Actually, I'll knuckle and foul play, because I want to get rid of this Tyranitar above all else, and I think I can take plus one um, from this range. Because that's essentially what it is. I'm at full health, I'm a Terrakion, a Dynamax candy. you got this, man. You got this. Okay, we win. Whew. I, I didn't believe. I didn't. I honestly didn't believe. <laughs> I had to convince myself. Alright. GG, well played. We, didn't, we managed to take round two there. There's no way I lose to the Gothitel. Crit didn't matter. Foul playoff, it's going to do only like 50. Yeah, like 50% of what I had. And I want to win by clicking beat up, so if they don't forfeit, I'm going to beat up the Gothitel for the win. Detect. Beat up win. Beat up win. Ah, they forfeit. That's fine. Good game, dude. Score. One, two.